There are various branches of mathematics, but at this stage, I am going to discuss three of them. The first one is arithmetic. Arithmetic is the branch of mathematics which deals with numbers. So we studied natural numbers, we studied whole numbers, we studied rational numbers and all. Arithmetic deals with numbers. The second branch is geometry. Geometry as a branch is more interested in shapes. So basically in geometry what we study is various kinds of shapes. These could be your triangles, squares and so on. And the third branch which is relevant is algebra. In algebra what we do is that we study letters or variables. The idea behind studying these letters or variables is that we try to form certain rules and formulas. Now these formula basically lay down certain rules which are universal. So if one applies, the other has to apply under given circumstances. So it is this branch of arithmetic that or sorry mathematics that we are now going to understand which is the algebra. Now what is the fun in algebra? Basically in algebra we use various letters the most common is x and then you have others like y, z, m, n and so on. Now this x is also called the variable. Many a times, you know, we are give, come across situation where we know that there are certain defined parameters which are there. But we don't know what the particular quantity is which will take us to that number. These are basically called your variables. And as we study these variables, they lead us to formulating various formulas and plans which are extremely helpful and which are extremely powerful too. So let me take an example. Suppose I had A and B. Now basically A and B were playing a game with the matchsticks wherein they were forming certain squares. So A took up a matchstick and laid it this way. Then he took up another matchstick and laid it this way, a third matchstick and then a fourth matchstick. So basically in order to form a square A realized that he used four matchsticks. Now A got excited and then he formed another square. And he found out that there were another four matchsticks which he used. And then he formed the third one. Again he used four matchsticks. Now B came and he asked a question from A. Hey A. How many matchsticks do you need to form six squares? Now, the simplest way for A, which was possible to arrive at this solution, was he could have gone ahead and made three more squares. So suppose he made three more squares every time he would have used four matchsticks and if he would have done the total of all these 
he would have arrived at 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 4, 16 plus 4, 20 and plus 4, 24 math sticks. However, there is an interesting pattern here. What is the pattern? B realizes that for every square, you require four math sticks. Right? So the number of math sticks which are required is four into number of squares. So if I were to form only one square, I need only four math sticks. For two, I need four plus four, which is eight, and eight is how much? Four into two, and so on. So basically, what B did here was, he said that if the number of squares is equal to say n, and n could have any value, one, two, three, four, Whatever is the value of n, which is the number of squares which are required, the number of math stick required is 4 multiplied by n. So let us see whether this works or not. So say, if, say okay, due to absence of space, I'll just write here. If n is equal to 1, number of math stick which I am denoting by n is equal to 4 times n which is 4 times 1 is equal to 4 and what do I find? This is correct. If n is equal to 2 then the number of math sticks which are required is 4 into n 4 into 2 is equal to 8 and similarly when number of squares which were required is 6 then the total number of math stick which is denoted by the larger n is equal to 6 into 4 which is 24 which is also the answer I got here. So basically then you have arrived a very important rule here which is that the number of math sticks is equal to 4 into n and n which can vary is all the variable. The value of n is not fixed. n can have any value. And therefore, you can write the rule which is number of math sticks is equal to 4 times the number of squares which are required. So these are basically the rules that you write in algebra, which are very important and which also kind of help you in solving complex problems.